A father of two in Moncton is still waiting for a new kidney despite signing up for a national program that matches living donors with people in need. Now the family is going public. CBC's Rosa Marcatelli has more. Jeff Pike spends hours every day and all night hooked up to his dialysis machine. The 43-year-old father of two suffers from a genetic disease that eventually leads to renal failure. Pike has known since his 20s that he'd eventually need a transplant. This is where his mother-in-law comes in. I wanted to help more than Jeff. I also wanted to help my daughter and the two kids. I was helping the family. Uh, Jeff is a really good dad and he is missing out on so much. Jameson and her son-in-law signed up for a kidney exchange program run by Canadian Blood Services and the provinces. It matches people in need of a kidney with a stranger willing to donate. But in order to get a kidney, the recipient needs a partner willing to give one to someone else. Things got complicated for Pike last February when he developed shingles. His transplant was cancelled. Jameson donated anyway, but only after being assured her son-in-law would get his kidney once his health improved. Despite being cleared just weeks later, Pike is still waiting. There's thousands of people in the country waiting for kidney transplant. Uh, but what makes my story unique is that we went into a program to donate a kidney or, or to give a kidney and get a kidney. And we did our half. Kimberly Young is the Director of Donation and Transplantation for Canadian Blood Services. She says hundreds of people have donated kidneys since the program started in 2009. It's also dramatically reduced the amount of time people have to wait for a transplant, according to Young. We do believe this is a very good program. We are so proud of it as a community. And I think that the results speak for themselves. But in any program, if we can learn from a situation and if we can adjust uh, the, the way that uh, we, uh, we work together, we will. She says people like Pike are a priority, but it is a very complicated system that has to balance the medical and personal needs of a lot of people. Rosa Marcatelli, CBC News, Calgary.